Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so, so excited that you're here. Today's topic is going to be about harnessing the power within in order to control your reaction to triggers. Something that I like to live my life by is that it is better to have self-control for five minutes than it is to spend five days cleaning up the mess that your anger, your frustration, or your anxiety made. Oftentimes when we're triggered by someone that we love especially, we end up just reacting instead of responding. This usually ends up creating a huge mess that we have to spend hours and days trying to clean up. At the end of the day, people don't really remember what you said. They don't re really remember what you did, but they do remember how you made them feel. I remember years ago, I was a very reactive person. I was severely depressed over having been through some trauma and I was experiencing a lot of emotions. I was constantly bitter and angry. I was resentful. I was just overwhelmed with emotions and I would constantly explode on everyone in my life. And I did not know how to seize control of my anger whatsoever. And when we don't have control within, we feel like everything externally is out of control as well. I ended up buying a book called The Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer and it was a saving grace for me. I started to realize that most of us truly live our life in the passenger seat of our lives. So we are not in the driver's seat where we determine how our mood's going to go, we determine how our day is going to go. We allow ourselves to be overrun by whatever comes our way, whatever thoughts come in our mind, we allow ourselves to be consumed by our emotions, which causes a lot of reactivity. When I was working through learning how to be more responsive instead of reactive, I started to meditate. And something that I learned from meditation was to be able to focus and use my breath as an anchor. And I was able to better control my mind. So rather than letting it just run ahead of me, I could gently bring my mind back. So what started happening was whenever I would have triggering conversations with my parents or with a sibling or with my friends, I would instead, whenever I felt triggered, instead of just reacting impulsively, I would use my breath as an anchor and I would just breathe into whatever it was that I was feeling and almost put like a protective shield around myself in order to protect myself from whatever emotions it was that they were throwing my way. And then I was able to choose a response. The script changed entirely because now I was no longer playing the same part of the script I was always playing with them whenever they would start a conversation that was triggering. Now I have a much easier time choosing a response. I don't feel reactive. I do have moments where if I'm not taking care of myself, I do react and I do disappoint myself, but it is nowhere near what it used to be. And I wanna encourage you to be able to take control of your life and your reactiveness as well. So now I wanna provide you with just a few steps that helped me. The first step would be to try to a couple times a day, maybe just once a day, sit in complete silence and pay attention to the sounds around you or pay attention to your breath. Try to count your breath and focus on you breathing in and breathing out through your belly, right? And focusing on the sounds around you. Focus only on the sounds or your breath. When you witness your mind start to wonder, gently bring it back. So what it would look like is you're sitting in silence and you focus on the birds chirping in the background. You're focusing only on that sound. Whenever a thought enters your mind and you witness that and you catch yourself, gently bring your mind back to the birds around you or the sounds around you. Continue to do this as many times as necessary. At first, you're going to probably get overwhelmed, so it's gonna you're gonna be able to just do it for a minute, maybe two. But continue to grow that and to do that more often. This is going to allow you, whenever you are in a situation with a family member, with a friend, someone or something that's triggering you, to then be able to harness more control over your mind, to put space again between the trigger and yourself. At the end of the day, you are not responsible for anyone else's actions, for their words, for their thoughts, for anything, but you are responsible for how you react. You're responsible for the things that you say and what you do. There is so much freedom to be found in discipline. There's so much freedom to be found whenever you exert self-discipline. You don't feel overrun by your emotions, by your thoughts. Of course, there are good and bad days, right? So there will be days where you do feel overrun by them. I, for example, had one of those evenings myself today. But back in the day, I did feel very unstable compared to how I feel now because I was constantly just 
letting myself be consumed by whatever, I would wake up and say, all right, let's see where the day takes us. But now I choose which direction the day goes in. I want you to be able to experience the freedom that I experience when it comes to this. So I just would encourage you, if you feel like you react frequently, try to implement these tips that I provided today. See if they work for you. Um, hopefully they do. And I would love if you have any other tips, comment them down below and let's help each other out to build up more tips on how to be less reactive and more responsive. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing day and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and to comment down below with any tips or any thoughts that you had while watching. I hope that you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video.